What up, Lakey Nation? Here with your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow! Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. Lakers lost again, man. Lakers lost again to the Pelicans, man. Like I said, I knew this was gonna be a tough one, man. On Twitter, they is on Darvin Ham head, man. They is on his head, man. Um, I don't know, man. They gotta start winning because this this noise is getting more more heavy. Um, we were shorthanded today. I don't think you could blame this. I, I, we just lost, man. We lost to a better team. That's just the bottom line, man. They put out a better um, team uh, than us available guys. Um, we missed some guys, and that's just what it is, man. I'm not going to be too worked up. It's New Year's. I want to tell everybody Happy New Year's. All my um, Lakers supporters, man, you guys been great for the New Year, man. 2023 been great. Y'all been supporting me. You know, I've been... Um, not delivering on a lot of lives. I can say not delivering. I ain't been available for to be going live a lot. I've been handling a lot of different things, but you guys been great. Y'all been supporting me on, on the Kareem Report, and y'all been supporting the Beat 139. I see you guys heavy in that chat, chat section. Now, I tell people, man, my Laker family came out heavy for the Beat, so we definitely want to um, salute to you guys. But like I said, this is this heavy. I know Darvin Ham is not having a good New Year. I know he's feeling this. The fans is just off of him. That I the stuff I'm seeing on Twitter is ridiculous. And a lot of uh, content creators, you know, um, they want him out. <clears throat> Me personally, I don't want him out. I want him to fight through it. I wanted to see what happens. You know, I think that him signing a four year deal. Uh, I just don't, I just think it looked bad if they get rid of him right now. It would look bad. So I hope he could turn it around. If I'm him, I will try to get experience. At least you showing Darvin. Me and your birthday on the same day. Be smart. Show them that you're trying to do something. You don't have the power to make no trades. But what you could do, go to them and be like, yo, I want I want some assistance. Find an assistant um, coach that you got in mind. If you bring in one veteran that's that solid, you know, somebody, matter of fact, bring in Mike Bo Boozerhoser. Tell Mike, yo, this just get me through the season here. Sign on through the season, you know what I mean? And and, and this 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 what you tell Mike Boozerhoser. You say, yo, listen, you come on and help me out. Now, if we turn this thing around and we go deep in the playoffs or a championship or win a championship, believe me, you're going to get back in the coaching ranks and – you'll be able to get another job. So I know you probably don't want to be looked at as assistant, Mike, but Mike, yo, listen, help me out here, Mike. Help me out, man. Be on this coaching staff. Help me out. We could change some things. And like I said, it can benefit you. It could benefit you too, Mike, because it's going to look like me making this change that you was a big uh, part of it. So um, that's what I think he should do, man. It will show the fans, like, give somebody a little hope and – you know what I'm saying? A little uh, fresh breath of, fresh breath of air. So, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.